everybody and welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. Today we have a special new edition for the 2017 Camaro SS. So let's get it unboxed and see what we got. All right, so what we have here came from American Authority and I will have all their information in the description. So definitely go check them out and let's see what we got inside the box. All right, everything looks to be packaged really well. One thing I can always appreciate is a company that packages things well because I know how rough sometimes the trip through the postal service can be and nobody wants to get their parts damaged so always a good thing to see when they pack it well. So what we have here is the ZL1 style side skirt for the Camaro SS. Now from American Authority these already come painted black so you don't have to worry about taking them to the body shop and paying all kinds of money to get them painted which is really nice. They're about 400 bucks on their website so if you're interested in these definitely go check them out but we're going to get these installed. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our rocker panel is nicely clean. We don't have any wax or grease or any of that kind of stuff for road grime on it. So what I'm going to use is a little bit of isopropyl alcohol stuff you can buy at the grocery store for probably about three dollars a bottle. Super cheap and easy to get. And uh, we're just going to wipe all that stuff off and make sure we have a nice surface for everything to adhere to. Alright, the way the skirts go on the car, there are some screw holes here on the back and then some along the bottom where the self-tapping screws that were provided in the kit will go up into the plastic rocker. Now, on the top side here, they give you a couple of options. You can use the two-sided tape, which is provided and run a strip along the top it makes it for a very quick and easy kind of stick on application or for more of a permanent installation this was recommended by american authority this is goop all-purpose contact adhesive but the trick to using this is don't use a thin amount of it put a whole bunch along that top edge he said enough so it squishes out the top then let it set for about an hour hour and a half and then you're able to pull the big bead that's going to push out the top off and you're going to have a really clean direct fit onto the car. Okay we've got our goop here ready to put it on the top section of the skirt and we're going to get ready to put it in place. On the end pieces here we were able to get our screws in the front since we were able to turn the wheel but in the rear I think we're gonna have to pull the rear tire off just to make sure our screws go in straight but sometimes it's better to take a little bit extra time and do it right than to have screws go in crooked and cause you problems in the future but this definitely transforms the look of the side of the car pretty dramatically <laughs> so when you do something for the first time there's always a little bit of a learning curve and I didn't use near enough glue and I know he told me to put a whole bunch on and I thought by using about half the tube I had achieved that and when I got it onto the car only a tiny little bit kind of came up the top seam now when I tried taping it up and everything like that I kind of felt that this part here really wasn't sticking as well as it should so what I did is I kind of pulled it back, made so there's a little bit of an opening, and then I put a bunch of that goop inside there. And then I took this little jack and put a leather glove underneath so it doesn't scratch anything and put a little bit of upward pressure on it so it's nicely adhered to it. Now, when you move this, you can see that there's no change in movement from the side skirt to the rocker panel so that they're getting a nice bond and seal there. So. Now along this entire thing we've got some painters tape holding everything up and we're going to put this in place until it's nice and dry but as you see we do have some cleanup to do here. This stuff does come off fairly easily but we're probably going to have to use some detail spray and a clay bar to kind of clean that off of the paint but if I used enough in the first place I probably wouldn't have made as much of a mess but now I'm going to have to go and get another bottle of goop so we can do the other side. Thank you. 
All right, everybody, we got both side skirts on the car. We're just gonna let the glue sit overnight with the tape on, keep a little bit of pressure on it so we get a nice solid bond on it. And it really transforms the look of this car. It gives it a little bit more of that ZL1 kind of low look. And uh, I think it looks pretty amazing on this car. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We got plenty more to come on Hammerdown Motorsports. Keep that hammer down. Thank you.